Hello guys, welcome back to Football Manager 2018, European Journeyman here, HNK Shivanek. So, we're not playing, it says on the top here, we've got a Hayduck game tomorrow, we're not playing that game, I just wanted to come in, um, show you this, the board want to hold a meeting in order to, to basically potentially extend our contract, and I thought we'd have a look at the meeting as it is. Um, we would like to gauge your opinion on whether discussing a new contract for you would be well received at this point in time. Now... I, I want to say yes, it's the lack of money that's really, really put me off. So, I think the club would be better off investing the money that this would cost into other potential improvements. We could do that. Alright, here we go. What do you think we should do with the funds instead of our proposal then? Uh, ooh, lots, 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 really. Only way to increase the available transfer budget, wage budget, all of these things are looking good to me. Youth coaching system, youth facilities, things for the future. I'm going to go ahead and say wage budget. Hey, so what's the wage budget gone up to? 20. <laughs> so it's gone up to still below our committed spend what about if I ask for an increase in the wage budget hey so they've done it again 24 oh maybe because we're in such a good form at the minute uh, increase the transfer budget ah wankers but we have got an increase into the wage budget we're actually we're underspending now, um, which is handy. We're still £750,000 in debt, but at least we're underspending. Anyway, we're going to come back for the game, which is not the game it was going to be. There's been a schedule change, but you'll find out about that in a second. See you in a bit. Right, so guys, welcome back to another episode of Football Manager 2018. The European Journeyman here with HNK Shibinik. Um, Let's go straight into the schedule. So when we last left off, I think we played, oh, was it a split in the Croatian Cup? I can't remember what, who we played last time around, you know. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. We lost to Rijeka, we beat Split in the Croatian Cup second round, we beat Dinamo 4-3, then we played Slaven Belopo, we won 5-1, Lokomotiva 5-1, played Hajduk, beat them 3-2, and today we have a Croatian Cup quarterfinal against... Zada, who aren't actually playing in the league um, at all for this game. But if we was to go to uh, our club, I'm trying to figure out if we can look at rival clubs. Um, Zada is one of our rival clubs, I believe. Uh, yeah, there we go. Zada, rivalries, fierce rival, local. So they're a fierce rival. <laughs> um so we really want to beat them, really, don't we? Um, they, I'm pretty sure, they knocked out Dinamo. They did. They knocked out Dinamo uh, on penalties in the Croatian Cup second round. So I don't think they're to be messed with. They've got some players, actual players, that like Jere Jerbic or Jer Jerbic. Um, he's not a bad defender, slash midfielder. Uh, Ivan Samarina, again, he's not too bad. Not too bad. Anti Saric. They've got some. Basically, what it is it's, they haven't got a whole team of grade out players, which is it's it's, it's going to be you know a bit more of a challenge than we're expecting, I guess. Um, if we go to our league, you can see we are three points clear ahead of Rijeka. If we had beaten Rijeka, it would have been six points clear, which is a pain in the ass. Um, Hyde looks struggling on eighteen points. We've hit the um, the target, the forty point target to survive um, in the league. We should really manage that now uh we've got one more game and then we're halfway through the season so we're looking good we're looking good board confidence is massively high if we look at the board here we're untouchable absolutely fucking untouchable um our owner is looking to leave um and i'm not surprised i mean he's unless he he chucks a load of money into the club which i can't see happening um 
he's going to have to chuck money into the club. It's, it's that or be sold. Um, when it comes to financial, financial fair play progress, we are on course for that. So that's good too. Let's go to the match itself. So we've got Rijeka versus Oziek. Um, I would like to see Oziek beat Rijeka. I mean, Oziek are a bogey team, but Rijeka are a, a stronger team. Uh, Hajduk versus Verazdin and Lokomotiva versus Istra. So if Verazdin can beat Hajduk and Osijek can beat Rijeka, I think we're probably on course to win this cup, which means we do get European uh, qualification, and that would just be fucking dandy. So let's get straight into this, team selection. Now, I've been playing the 4-3-3 a little bit recently, um, switching up between the 4-2-3-1 uh, asymmetrical and the 4 3, three hole in the lab. I still haven't come up with a name for my asymmetrics um, tactic. I'm, I'm trying to think of something... I, I really am. It's just... I, I was thinking maybe crank your it up. But, you know, like crank it up, crank your it up. But I don't know. Maybe. I'm just trying to think of something including a Croatian player's name because we've developed it in Croatia. Um, that being said, I am going to pick the hole in the club tactic. Today, uh, we're going to play with this. I'm just going to make sure that Pranic is on the bench. And we want Rajevic really playing ahead of Derek Morris. I mean, Derek Morris is good, but he's no Rajevic. Uh, we want Luka Celic on the bench. We want Sven Bracken on the bench. Yusuf Musa, nope. Uh, where's Sven Bracken? There he is. And Josef Malas for... Eww. Frederick Pelazar, there we go. I just want that there, because we've got a lefty here, and then we've got a righty there, and we can potentially go to the asymmetrics tactic, should we want to. Anyway, let's let's just fucking crack on, shall we? Let's get this game underway. Let's get them fucking beaten. That's the plan. That's the plan. So, I think we will be heavy favourites. In fact, I know we're heavy favourites. We're going to go with an assertive. Um, I'm really surprised there's nothing here about going out there and smashing our rivals, but there we go. Uh, let's go with a passionate... Getting some greens up. There's a lot more to come. There we go. Straight into the tunnel. Do you have any worries about the players being able to keep their heads in the heated atmosphere? Um. <coughs> encourage them to go out fire and smash up the opposition. Because why not? Let's go with a push forward. I want to absolutely rout this team. If they are a strong fierce rival then i want to demolish them i want to put them in their place and there we go one minute 48 Ricardo scores it's 10 goals this season Ricardo scored which isn't bad considering he didn't really get played all too much to begin with um obviously last season he had a cracking time stark sago gerbic gerbic through to bozic oh what's it over the bar a little bit disappointing. I was hoping to make it 2-0 within five minutes. Should be fine going forward, though. I can imagine that we're going to demolish them. I really think we're going to demolish them. Um, what can we do? Not oh, doing a good job. Oh, let's try to retain the ball, then. I mean, that's easy enough, isn't it? Push to retain the ball. Let's go for another push forward. Um, they're holding their own, though, considering. They've got 50% of possession. They've got four shots compared to our six. One on target compared to our two. Uh, they have committed the same amount of fouls as us. Yellow cards are the same. I need to change this view if I can. I, I'm going to try and change it at some point. There's other information that I would like to see on that screen. So, find Stark. Stark finds Svraka. Svraka. Spano Bozic off the fucking crossbar. That's twice he's come close to putting it away now. Very, very close. Had to the corner. Carlo finds Svraka. It's a ping pong, but Rajkovic scored it. Is it offside? He's offside. <laughs> Fuck. Right. Let's go with another push forward. I was hoping to just really, really uh, obsession gaining too much space. Um, shame I can't play him as Carolero, really, but oh well. I suppose we could change him up into a box to box. We're going to come in between the two lines. If they're finding space between, that might be what we need to do. 
Um, Stimash gets dispossessed, but Sarah picks it up. It's out for a throw in. Right. Penalty? You're taking a fucking piss, ain't you? All right, boys. Boys, boys, boys. We need to sort this out now. Good penalty. What I want to know is these guys... Oh, yeah, they do. Ha <laughs> ha. So, just changing a little bit. That if we go pause, if we click on us and give us our name, click on him. Hey, look. There we go. We can actually see who's on the bench. <laughs> Doesn't tell us who we are. Doesn't tell us who they are. But, you know, everything else. Simple things. Simple minds. Um... Ricardo pushes it to Stark. Stark, long fall forward. Find Spanier. Stark! Not good. Not good. We shouldn't be drawing one all against a team of this calibre. We should be smashing them. So why are we drawing one all against a team of this calibre? Are we going to have to change it up? Are we going to have to change up the tactic? I think we're going to go... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to come out at half-time. We're going to do this. So, wait, 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 Gervic, there we go, Bozic is the only one who needs to come off, I think, and we'll bring on Bracken, these two, they're best off these way, this way around, don't need to change anything else there, uh, so go, yep, let's go to the team talk, I'm not happy, uh, why are you stressed, Ricardo? I want to talk to you individually. There's a lot more to come from. I'm looking for you to make the difference. There we go. Oh, I fixed it. Right, let's end that team talk. Can't be us to talk any more about it. Just need them to go out there and fucking focus on putting goals past their keeper. We've had 11 shots compared to their six. So they've had three on. They've had two on target. We've only had three. Just not putting away the uh, the chances here. Hopefully, by switching up the tactic pretty much completely, it will confuse fuck out of them. Stimak gets dispossessed by Yak Rakovic. Ricardo, I'm going to get his name right eventually. Ricardo finds Hadjic. Braka. Sego. Sego. Gerbic. Sego's not scored for us, really, for a little while now, I don't think. Uh, right, well, fair enough. We'll, we'll deal with Stimak. Okay, look. We've, we've dealt with Stimak now. So, just deal with putting the ball in the back of their net. 15 shots to their 6, only f 16 shots to their 6, only 4 on target is shocking. <coughs> oh. Well done, Bracalo. Didn't really have to do her cards, get it, but he done it. Bracken finds Fracker, Fracker finds Sego. Sego finds Bracken, who finds Bracalo. Cross it in, cross it in. Someone, Sego, you fucking beautiful little cunt. I love him so much. He's coming with us when we go. I keep saying it, he is. He's coming with us when we go. Because I, I feel like he's going to be, I feel like he would be a decent mid to top level premiership striker. Like once he gets his ability, once he comes to his full ability, I think he will be. Um, Rakovic nearly puts it away. Right. Should we make a tactical change? Yes, because Sarah's looking a bit tired. So we'll bring Pranjic on. Or Pranjic. Uh, who else is looking tired? So Yannick Stark's looking a bit fucked. So let's bring on Luka Celic. Because he's a decent, decent signing. Decent player. He's such a good player, actually. He was, he was solid for us last season, Celic. And he's not really fit, uh, featured all too much this season. He's taking a big backseat to Stark. Stark's been solid. He just... He fades away, Stark. That's the thing, he just gets tired so quickly. I think we need to maybe look at getting him working on his fitness, which is the wrong kind of thing to do at this time of the season. Um, do they have a winter break? I don't think they do, do they? I'm not too sure. They may do. 2-1 um, is disappointing. I feel like we should have done more than just 2-1. But I'll take it. I will take a 2-1 victory over rivals away from home. So we do go through to the semi-finals, which is 
that one step close. We got a way of it out of there. There we go. Ideal. They all fired up. Um, yeah, well, that, that is one step closer to European football for us, and that makes me more interested in hanging around. I have to admit, Manuel Pamic scored a penalty today after a mistake by Kin Hadzic. Uh, Kin will recover this and come back from this better than ever. Fairy tale continues. It's a brilliant feeling. He watches your side hit the woodwork an incredible three times. Oh. Sego's winning goal. Um, it's always nice. Newfound belief and confidence. World player of the year. Can I not pick Sego? Why can I not pick Sego? Right, fair enough. Well, Alexis Sanchez, let's have a look at him. What's your average rating been? 7.5. How many goals? 8. Okay. He's at Man City. Antoine Griezmann, Atletico Madrid, 7.79, goals 8, assists 8. Probably not him because he's blacked up recently, apparently. Uh, 7.33 for Rodriguez, no. Kevin De Bruyne, 7.675 and 10. Lionel Messi, 8.0277. And Paolo Dybala, still at Juve, 7.8213 and 3. You know what, I'm going to say... Dybala, just because I don't want to give it to Messi again. But yeah, anyway, that is going to be the end of today's episode. So, of course, if you have enjoyed today's episode, give us a like and comment on the video. Don't forget that I am recording these in advance at the minute. So, basically, I'm recording them in advance so I can have a bit of a Christmas break. Um, but, obviously, I still want to get this content out for you guys. So, yeah, just bear in mind, if you're saying, do this, do that, I've already done stuff. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we'll be back on it like a car bonnet as soon as possible. And if you are new to the channel, please do go ahead and subscribe as well, of course. But yeah, that is the end of today's episode. Thank you for joining me again, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye-bye.